a warm delightful evening to one and all present over here, respected student members, teachers and all my Tinko participants. This is Amit Kappa Agustanani from GV Public School. And today I am privileged to seize a wonderful opportunity to proclaim a perspective on the event topic, Ozen for Life. So, without any further delay, let's go and see. Respected student members and all my co-participants, before proceeding to the topic, first let's know that what is Ozen. Well, Ozen is, uh, ozen is a molecular form of oxygen which contains three molecules of oxygen and it is kind of shield which protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. It even prevents various diseases like uh, skin cancer, cataracts, etc. Respected Julie, but now a question may arise in our mind that why is this ozone layer often considered as a lifesaver? Well, we have often listened that earth without ozone is like a room without ozone. Well, is the statement really true? Well, it is. As I mentioned before that it helps to prevent various diseases, so we now know that how much it is important for us. It, it even helps us to prevent global warming. But it is slowly, slowly depleting. Why and how? Well, we humans are the reasons that it is depleting. We are doing deforestation. Now, what does it mean? Well, deforestation means the indiscriminate cutting down of trees on a very large scale. We are cutting down trees without thinking about the future. So, have you ever wondered that what would happen to earth if we will not have any kind of ozone layer? Just think about it. Well, let me say. If we will not have any kind of ozone layer, then we will suffer from the harmful UV rays. We will suffer from various hazardous diseases like skin cancer, cataracts, etc. We will even face problems like global warming, floods, which is uh, due to the melting of glaciers and ice caps. So, how can we prevent it? Well, we can prevent it by using eco-friendly chemicals, not like the chlorofluorocarbons, nitrous oxide, etc. And we should also say no to plastics. And uh, we should do afforestation. So, at last, I would like to conclude that we all have to understand that it's not only mine or his or her responsibility, it's our collective responsibility. So let's join our hands together, work together to make a sustainable and brighter future. That's the reason why it is said that Ozan layer is a lifesaver. You, uh, we will save it today, so it will save us for tomorrow. Honorable judges, I humbly represent my.